Let's take a look at these three different types of applications deployed to the same Cloud Foundry instance. In this example, we're going to have a Java Spring application deployed with a standard build pack, a Windows application that was created in .NET MVC and with the Microsoft Visual Studio, and a Docker application that was pulled down from Docker Hub. All of them are integrated with the Cloud Foundry dynamic load balancer. So as we're running multiple copies of each application, you can see that as the browser tabs are refreshing, they're load balanced to different instances of the application. All of these applications are also integrated with other Cloud Foundry features. They come with standard status monitoring for each of the application instances, including tracking CPU memory and disk and uptime, as well as integrated with the event system so that you get audit events on who does what to each application. Cloud Foundry has a services marketplace, so databases and environment variables and other services can be late binded to your application, as well as dynamic routing for routes and load balancing. Each of these applications are integrated with the Cloud Foundry Loggergator, so you can tail logs in real time for all the application instances and aggregate them together. And you can send those logs to your syslog endpoint of choice. Here you can see as the browser is refreshing the access log from the Cloud Foundry router is showing you those entries coming in in real time. Now let's go ahead and pull up another window where we're actually going to be sharing a route called all three with each of these applications. It's kind of a silly example because they're different applications and you probably wouldn't actually share a route with them, but it shows that the Cloud Foundry router enables you to do all kinds of interesting and creative things. In this case, each application supports an exit endpoint. And so by load balancing across all three and refreshing the tab a couple times a minute, we can randomly kill one of the instances of each of these applications a couple times a minute. So we're going to do that and watch how the Cloud Foundry router routes traffic to an available healthy instance while Cloud Foundry in the, back in the background is restarting failed application instances. And then while we're doing that, we're going to do a zero downtime push of the Java Spring application using a Cloud Foundry plugin called Zero Downtime. What this allows you to do is push a new version of your application code and start it simultaneously while running an existing application that with the older version of the code. What's going to happen here is we're going to build a new droplet, which is running the build pack for, for Java, downloading the latest Java runtime environment, and putting that in with my application code, and then starting that up. It's going to change the Java Spring application from a green background to an orange background. And what you're going to see is that's going to happen without interrupting any of the web clients. There's no 404s, there's no downtime for those clients as we're updating this application in real time. Here we go. So now the green should turn to orange and the demonstration is complete. Hope you enjoyed seeing how all these features apply to all these different types of applications.